I'm standing on a rooftop in Williamsburg, and I can see the whole Manhattan skyline, and in the foreground, work by Shepard Fair. A friend of mine was born again here because she wanted to feel something that she can't feel where she comes from. In her life now, she speaks with the authors I read. Her face is recognized by movie stars that call her by her name. But when I ask her about the protests on Wall Street, she describes her view seated on a couch in an apartment in Williamsburg watching live coverage on CNN. When I ask her which subway line will take me to the ocean, she admits she still has not been there. When I ask her where she would like to meet up for drinks tonight, she is full of ideas. And this is not hyperbole or constructed metaphor. This is a confession given on a rooftop in the smack dead center of the Milky Way in Brooklyn. The best minds of my generation are being destroyed by retro, by internet memes, by smartphone applications. In Cairo and Tunisia, in Venezuela and the Ukraine, there are days of war and nights of love. Woo. And in Brooklyn, there is a generation watching revolution through the screen of an iPhone, veiling her ecstasy, trading love for pornography. Does anyone know how to start a riot in New York City? See, we could occupy the last empire on Wall Street or last call on Metropolitan Avenue. The problem with the revolution is she takes too many evenings to get inside of. The problem with the revolution is she isn't easy. She doesn't drink. Brooklyn, if I met you out one night, if I asked you your name, made intelligent conversation, ran my hands through my hair, acted all cool and shit, if I talked you home, when I slipped off your shirt, when I had you where I wanted you, I would lay my left hand on your collar and my right hand on your wrist. I will be trying to feel something that's hard to feel where I come from. I will be looking for the rhythm of your pulse, but your heartbeat is slow. It's soaked in alcohol. Brooklyn, you never sing me love songs in the daytime. I suppose in New York City you couldn't spare that kind of vulnerability, but you know the cool has never been pinned. No one's ever seen her spread her legs, just heard stories of someone else doing it. Hashtag Instagram. The cool is not a pathway. The cool is label and fashion as a means, is the most amorous of potions, as an end, fashion is the most glamorous of suicides, death by Versace, apathy is the new black, we used to live our life more like Polaroid snapshots, not knowing what each moment would look like until it was over, until it had been shaken out and settled in some sort of life, but now we have our androids, we live life through the screens of our iPhones, Brooklyn, I want to paint your picture with watercolor on paper canvas, something that light can bounce off of, not just pixels, because love is not a label, love is a pathway, Brooklyn. I suppose in New York City you couldn't spare that kind of time. I'm on a rooftop in Williamsburg and I can see the whole Manhattan skyline. I put my arm around my friend. I frame the two of us through the screen of my iPhone. I tell her I try not to forget to take pictures of people.